Hi everyone, this is Hani from Hanielas and today I wanted to show you how I make my sugar cookie dough recipe for my cutout cookies. This is a very basic sugar cookie dough and this dough can be flavored with different flavorings. I personally like to flavor dough with pure vanilla extract or you can also use almond extract. I like to add lemon zest on occasion or orange zest is very nice as well. Here is the recipe. You can also find metric measurements here or you can print the recipe directly from my blog. Okay, first thing we're going to do is to measure all-purpose flour. I'm using three cups. I wouldn't recommend using cake flour or pastry flour. I would stick with all-purpose. And then also you want to whisk one large egg with one tablespoon of the flavoring. Uh, here I'm using pure vanilla extract. Okay, and here are the ingredients. Flour, butter, I have granulated sugar, I'm using kosher salt, baking powder, and this is my egg mixture. So first I'm going to sift flour with baking powder. And also, uh, don't forget to add salt. I'm using unsalted room temperature butter. This is very important that you use room temperature butter. Room temperature butter, as you see, I'm trying to bend it. It should bend easily without breaking in half, but it shouldn't be too soft. So when you press the butter, it should give slightly, but it shouldn't be super soft. So I want to make sure that you use room temperature butter. And now we can start creaming butter with sugar. And this process will take uh, probably five minutes or so. And you want to make sure that you scrape bowl a few times. Okay, now we can start adding egg vanilla mixture. Just make sure that you beat it well after each addition. And then I would say beat this for about a minute or so and then then uh, we can start adding flour. I like to add flour in three additions. So I'm going to start with one cup and then we have two more cups to go. And then when you are adding flour, you want to decrease your speed to low. And then you can add another cup. Okay, and you also want to scrape the bowl really, really well. Go to the bottom. If there is any unmixed flour, you want to make sure that you get it all there, mixed in with the remaining dough. And then just give it a quick mix. And now I like to dump it into a bowl. I'm using the same bowl that I used for my flour. This eliminates extra dishes. You can also do this on your work surface that you lined with uh, parchment paper or wax paper. And now you just want to knead this, I'd say about 30 seconds up to a minute until the dough comes together. And once your cookie dough is ready, you can wrap it in to a clear plastic wrap or uh, you can also use a Ziploc bag. I actually like to chill my cookie dough overnight or for eight hours. I find that chilling the cookie dough overnight really helps eliminating spreading during baking. If you don't have those eight hours, I'd say minimum four hours. 
Also really important is a baking sheet. I'm using light color baking sheet. This is a USA pan brand. I really like this brand because it, uh, it distributes heat evenly. So your cookies bake evenly and they do not brown on the bottom as much. So um, I recommend using light colored baking sheet. For the even thickness, I'm using these rolling guides. You can also you can use two um, painter sticks that you glue together, or you can also get a piece of trim in your hardware store, and then roll out the dough between two pieces of parchment paper. Using parchment paper is really important because it eliminates using extra flour. You don't want to use extra flour because it can make your cookies um, dense. And now you're ready to cut out cookies. As you see on the left hand side there is still some cookie dough left in the plastic wrap. I actually like to divide my cookie dough into two halves and then I start rolling out the first half. And as you see there are going to be some scraps so I usually re-roll those and cut out cookies. But after that those scraps I don't like to re-roll them alone so I add them to the remaining dough. That way I don't waste the dough. Once you place your cutouts on the baking sheet, you want to chill the cookie dough in your fridge for about 15 minutes or you can also use a freezer for 8 minutes and then you can bake the cookies. And this is what the cookies look like when they are baked freshly taken out from the oven. You can see the tops are really really puffy and they are very soft at this stage. So you don't want to you don't want to mess with them too much. Just let them be for about 5 to 5 to 7 minutes and then we can transfer them to a cooling rack. So after seven minutes you can see that the cookies are flatter, the tops have deflated, though they are still warm so you want to cool them off. And this is what the bottom looks like. You can also make this ahead of time and freeze these in a plastic container layered between pieces of wax paper and then you can just defrost them and decorate them later. And once your cookies are cooled, you can place them in a plastic container, plastic food safe container. And here are the cookies. These cookies are actually one day old, so um, I'm going to decorate them today. And this is what they look like inside. And here I also wanted to share a summary of few tips that I learned along the way. you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to give it a thumbs up and you can also subscribe to my youtube channel Hanielas and you'll get all the video updates delivered to you via email thanks for watching